If the aftermath of Hurricane Helene has proven one thing for sure, perhaps you could say it that there's a silver lining to this thousand mile wide cloud. It's that I believe now people in positions of power are beginning to wake up and realize we need to devise a different, more modern way of categorizing these storms. There hasn't been a storm like this ever. Now, if you use the old measurements, like what we used back in the 2000s of wind of just wind speed and millibars of pressure and all this kind of stuff, you are going to never be prepared for something like this in the future. I think this image shows it. How many of you remember any hurricane that only in a matter of less than 48 hours traversed the entire Gulf of Mexico, went from a tropical depression to what we call Category 4, remained a hurricane inland almost to the southern edge of the city of Atlanta, and now the remnants of which cover everything from the state of Iowa to literally New York City. There are parts of North Carolina now that are basically going through Armageddon for all real intents and purposes. Every single road closed, multiple dams failing all across the Appalachians. Even the governor came out and said this was worse than Idalia and nobody predicted that. Many people were like, well, you know, it's, it's going to be a storm and, you know, these things will come and go. The wreckage from this, even the governor of Georgia said the amount of damage to their crops is, is going to be a financial event that it's going to take them a decade to recover from. And it was only in Georgia for literally five seconds. I don't mean to overstate the case there, but by the time that thing became a hurricane and it was through the panhandle of, of Florida, and went all the way through Georgia, and there were people in Fort Myers that were still getting flood surge. It's just incredible. So hopefully, hopefully people will wake up and say, okay, we've got to completely revamp this. Because when I made the title, this is a planetary event, this would be something that aliens could see from space. Looking at the globe, they'd be like, what the heck? is going on there. What's happening there? It's bigger than any typhoon right now, size-wise, bigger than any typhoon that's ever hit. It doesn't have the power now, but the area that it's affecting, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, Delaware, and that's after having gone through Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Did that take a week to do? No, it took two days. It took two days. Just absolutely unreal. And oh, gosh darn it, I hate it when I accidentally bring up pictures that I, I don't have anything to do with the video. And son of a gun. I just, oh, there I did it again. Man, hold on. Well, that's where I wanted to go. So just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has joined us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel and has been patient these last couple of weeks. We have had a lot to deal with. Dealing with the censorship, dealing with maintaining this channel, the backup channel. We have a brand new video that just posted over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. And I'll warn you, it is by far, by far, the most graphic video I have ever posted. I had to really think very long about what I wanted to say and how I could use those images in a way that was helpful. But believe me, what if I told you that the U.S. government has, over a period of years, created a mind control device that they can make you change your behavior with a little two-letter and perhaps two-number code? All Americans... They can make you change your behavior. They can make you abdicate your responsibilities. Just with a, a letter, a couple of letters, perhaps a number, that when you see it, 
you will change your behavior. And you'll do it subtly. You'll do it without even thinking about it. Don't think so? Join us, Florida Maki Patreon channel. One single, one single US dollar per month. That's it. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. There's a $5 level over there as well. I contemplated, I really did contemplate making that a $5 video because it's that graphic, but I think the code information is far more important, especially going into an election, that people wake up and understand how programmed they are to automatically trust the government. It's nothing short of mind control. Our ancestors would have described it as such. Even 75 or 100 years ago, our ancestors would have looked at us and said, what world of mind control are you living in? Why would you, why would you do that that way? Or this thing this other way? We would say, well, that's just the way it's always been done. They'd say, no. It absolutely has not always been done that way. We didn't do it that way. Their parents didn't do it that way. But we do. And we have to ask why, of course. Things like that, topics like that. You can't put here, you have no say. Or, I mean... You take away rights, or you, 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 oh, YouTube. Yeah, can't talk about that kind of stuff. But there is something we can talk about. There is a lower level psychological operation going on. How many of you have seen these very curious stories just blossoming up out of nowhere? All of a sudden, they care about your health. A new wave of, of banning and restricting. And government control is coming, but it's for your good. It's for your own good. It's red 40. Oh, red 40. Blue 7. Uh, yellow 15. Things we've had in our foods for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. All of a sudden now, all of a sudden, they're the cause of all the problems. All of a sudden, they're the cause of all the problems. No more Skittles. No more Gatorade, no more Doritos, no more Mountain Dew, no more M&Ms, nope. Nope, big government, big government's coming to save you. Oh, and even better, even better health concerns, September 26, 2024, around fluoride and water, merit government action, Judge Rules. How many of you remember five seconds ago we had conservative people who were going to run for president saying that they were going to get rid of government agencies, all of a sudden now sitting in front of Congress saying how they're going to now use those agencies to make your life better because we as we know that's that's the only concern government has as long as you comply as long as you comply I would love to be the guy I would love to be the guy sitting in a debate where someone is going to try to convince me that alcohol was less damaging to society as a whole, historically, than uh, Red DNC number 32 and Doritos and... Seriously. See, nobody's talking about getting rid of wine. Nobody's talking about getting rid of beer. Nobody's even talking about taking commercials for hard liquor off of TV. How many of you remember? Some of you might not. Some of you might be that young. How many of you remember when it was illegal to advertise any hard liquor on television or radio? Some of you might, I know I have a lot of people in my house like, yeah, yeah, I remember that, Maki. That was, the, I remember the first time I saw a tequila ad or an ad for, for bourbon on TV. There was a reason. There was a reason for it. See, but, oh, but whatever, whatever you do, don't say anything about gluttony. Don't say anything about obesity, because as we know, scientifically speaking, if you broke down the pepperoni pizza being mowed down here, you could say, well, gosh, is, is pepperoni deadly? Well, people eat pepperoni every day and they don't kick over dead, so it must not be the pepperoni. It's got to be the cheese. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, we eat cheese and cheese doesn't cause instantaneous death. Hmm, is it the tomatoes? Is it the bread? What is Golly, is it the oil? What is it? Maybe it's because it's on cardboard. I know what it is. It's the red DNC number five in the printing on the box. 
That's right. It's the ink on the box, the pizza box. The red ink on the pizza box is the reason that this guy is 600 plus pounds. That's the reason. I mean, it couldn't be the fact that there's just a whole bunch of greedy people out there who are willing to do anything and everything to make you over-consume, to make you over-consume things so that the things that are in there become toxic. Because you're always going to have the guys, I only sat down and I had the uh, prescribed amount of servings that was on the back. It was like seven chips. I opened up the bag of Doritos and I, I carefully selected seven chips because it says on the side of the bag that that's a serving size. And I had my seven chips and then I, I carefully put the bag back into the, the, the pantry. And that's what I had. And that was my, and then I have all of these problems in my life and it's really the fault of Doritos and Unbelievable. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just phase two. Phase two of just making you happier. Making you healthier. Because what do we know about freedom? Well, unless it works for the good of all, it's really selfish, isn't it? Believe me, when you watch the Patreon video, and you see what I show you about the little code, the little code that makes you raise your kids the way the government wants you to raise them? Florida Maquis, what, wait a minute, hold on, you're saying that all they have to do is show me a little two-letter and number code, and I will raise my kids differently than I would normally? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And I can prove it. And I can prove it using the platform we're on right now. You have no say. You have no control. You have no rights. Unless, of course, they're granted from government. You can make any plea you want about rights coming from God. But it is kind of ridiculous. We could do a whole other thing on, well, the Second Amendment. We could. It's an entirely different topic, but the fact that you have no problem with infringements based on behavior, you have no problem with infringements based on certain behaviors, or maybe you're one of these people that believes that people in prison should have guns if they want them, because it would be an infringement, wouldn't it? Where in the Constitution does it say that if you don't obey a random abstract law that was passed hundreds of years after the Constitution was written that if you're found to be in violation of that law, then of course your God-given right disappears. Kind of a hard thing, especially for guys like Ted Nugent to wrap their brains around. But, nevertheless, once again, if you have a dollar, would love to to have you join the discussion. And it's not really about the dollar, even though these days I could sure use the help. I could sure use the help for sure. I'm not going to lie. The dollar is about the speed bump. It's how things work online. When you put that little speed bump in there, you restrict a whole bunch of automated systems that can't come in and flag you. And believe me, ask anyone down in the comment section about the Florida Maki Patreon channel. I've had people go there and sign up and they've been so offended, so unbelievably offended by Gen X attitudes and, you know, Gen X ways of doing things that they have just absolutely left me sentence after sentence after sentence, basically telling me I'm the worst thing that ever lived and I shouldn't even be allowed to speak on the internet and all this good stuff. But that's how I know how old you are. That's how I know how old you are because that is something that came along long after we achieved adulthood, those of us Gen X and Boomers, because we grew up with the whole concept of freedom being offensive. That's how we knew we were living in a free society. So once again, and everything good, by the way, everything good had a little bit of a toll on it. If it was free, it wasn't very good. It wasn't very good at all if it was free, but back then, boy, I tell you what, if you had to, if you had to go pay a little extra for something... That's how you knew you were getting the good stuff. So do you want the good stuff? Join us. Love to have you. God bless.
pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Pray for everyone in Appalachia and in Georgia and all those in harm's way right now. They could sure use it because, folks, I've seen the aftermath of a lot of storms. I've not seen this. Not in my whole life have I seen a storm that fast. That fast go from just a group of clouds down by Cancun to spin up from that to a Category 4, slam through Florida, slam through Georgia, knock dams out across all of Appalachia, put half of a state underwater where no roads are passable, and take two dozen lives in two days. So I will leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. Pray for you. I'll pray for you. Pray for all these folks. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.